Hey yo captains, how's it going my fellow friends? Now in this video I wanted to talk about something which is actually quite fascinating. Well to me at least anyways. And that is the introduction of the folding wingtips on the new Boeing 777X. Now we know that the wingtips have gone through an evolution from the 737 all the way up to the 777 family. But the wingtip of the 777X is an odd one. So I wanted to answer the question as to whether the folding wingtip is an evolution or is it a revolution? Now let's talk about the reason why Boeing is even pursuing the new design for the 777X. Now the reason why Boeing is creating a folding wingtip is due to the size of the plane and the wings. The large wings will create more lift during cruise which will increase its efficiency. But it will make it more difficult for the aircraft to navigate through terminals and get to the boarding gate and potentially creating problems for the operations at various airports. Now this is one of the reasons why the FAA took so long to approve the design because they needed to take everything into consideration. But it's all good news because they finally approved the design and this will let the 777X stop at the airport gates which is big enough to accommodate the typical 777 models. Now in terms of the operations, the mechanism will be operated electrically and also by hydraulics most likely after the APU has been fired up or maybe just after the engines have been turned on. Now although we don't know the full details, but it's most likely that all of this will happen at the touch of a button. Now in terms of the landing, the wingtips will automatically fold at an appropriate moment below a designated speed. So when the aircraft exits the runway, the pilot will then fold the wingtips in an up position so that the wingspan will comply with restrictions of 65 meters or less. The new wings will be made from carbon fibre composites which is incredibly stronger than metals like aluminium that Boeing uses. This will let them increase the wings width by 23 feet which will make flying more efficient. It's also worth noting that these will be the widest wings that Boeing has ever produced for a plane which even beats the 747-8. But it doesn't beat the wingspan and the width of the A380 which is good news because that means that most of the airports that can handle the 777 will be able to handle the 777X also. Now we have to wait until next year to see the plane in all of its glory, which is four and a half years after the plane was actually announced. But it hasn't been a smooth ride for Boeing because there was a three month delay in the trials of the engines and there was a delay in creating the structural ribs and all of this has cost Boeing valuable time in the production of the 777X. But despite these setbacks, Boeing is still working towards the first flight which is scheduled for the first quarter of next year. So in terms of the question that was asked earlier as to whether they're an evolution or a revolution, my answer is that they're both. They're not actually much different to the wingtips of the 777-300ER. In fact, from what I've seen, they're almost identical. But where the 777X takes a step forward is the fact that it wins in almost every scenario. Drag will be reduced with a larger wing, they'll comply with the restrictions set by the FAA and the airports, and also increase fuel efficiency by as much as 12%. Had Boeing not come up with this idea, then I think they would have radically redesigned the plane to get the same efficiency. But that's just my take on that anyways. Now captains, feel free to share your thoughts and opinions on what you think regarding the wingtips. Do you see it being a success, or do you think it will be a mechanical nightmare? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my fellow captains and friends, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one.